welcome back to another edition of Tell All Fridays. It is me. I'm Queen. This is Gubby. He is him. I, Literally, we just go into just talking and not I need I need better lighting. That's what I need. <laughs> like I need I like, I need when I come on like you just like a round of applause. Like, yeah. Yeah. On. Hi, yay so this edition is clearly a week almost a week in advance i guess of yes. thanksgiving yes very american tradition <laughs> of course. Of course. yes and uh, i guess we'll talk about what we're thankful of or maybe thanksgiving memories maybe yeah. may, what, like what's our favorite dish at thanksgiving hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. Are you yeah. asking me now? To wait for the answer? I mean, you 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 go first. With your answer, it's fine. <laughs> um, I'm guessing that I don't know what's my favorite. I feel like there's like growing up Caribbean. I feel like there's every like all your favorites is had like around Thanksgiving mm-hmm. night. You get your curry chicken, you get curry gold, you get oxtail, roti, yeah. masai, rice and peas, potato salad, kalaloo, curry right. crab. Like, there's so many. <laughs> Go on. You weren't... <laughs> Who the hell are they praying over their food? Yeah, they're praying. You know, it's like, it's like <laughs> Oh my God! Well, yes, you must pray over your feet, and you pray for the people who prepare the meal, and for the house that the meal is being had in, and you pray for all your family members for their safety. But clearly, this is just weird, Michael. That's changing. It's weird. I can't think straight. I literally was like, "What the hell?" Okay, I'll change it for you. And then do you see Grandpa in the back with the beard? Like, yeah, cat daddy. Cat daddy. That right there. I might give him a check here. Yeah. What is... Let's do this. Yeah, and not many people... Not many people pray um, in, in uh, Thanksgiving gatherings, I believe, right? I mean, some people do. Not many people? No, not many. Not people who actually do that anymore. Pray before their meals, right? What do you think? I no, You got to pray before every meal because you got you to pray for your blessings. Mm-hmm. Some, some people are getting no, no food on Thanksgiving. Some, some people are homeless. Some people, some people, you know, not everything in life is grander. Right. And like my grandpa, like maybe like last year, he was in the lodge and we went and they was feeding um, people and they had right. clothes and they had different things that they could come and get for Thanksgiving. And, and, and just being a part of that experience and cooking for it and taking it there and just, you know, not, not okay. Now that I'm older, mm-hmm. I understand what we used to do when I was a kid. Because when you're a kid, you don't really pay attention. But now when you are when you are an adult, you see the value of giving back and doing things for others self Right. You're like definitely more so appreciative of it. Yeah. Right. As an adult, because as an adult, you're like, man, you know, all like especially working and making money and um having family or being surrounded by loved ones. Um, you know when it hits you harder later, especially when you're an adult like me living alone or you're like, wow, you know, <laughs> but, um, right. and, and you understand. Yeah, how's it going to happen this happen. year? You know, I was huh? thinking like, cause you know how like to have many like the soup kitchens and gatherings for people normally every year. And I kind of wonder how that's going to be impacted with going back up, going back up, whatever you want to do. Your, your video is about to get flagged for you just saying, um, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, yeah. There's an algorithm that listens for if you talk about <laughs> if you're not like a official news organization or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's or not the damn word then. We'll just they bleep it out. Bonus. I'm gonna bleep they it out for bonus. you. Bonus. I'll bleep it out for you later or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the the main thing that shall not be mentioned. Um. Anyway, so you, I kind of wonder what's gonna happen with that. Um. Like I'm not an expert. It's- at all i mean someone could probably tell us that but it's it's yeah I, i'm assuming they'll do something but right right but maybe they'll have like little handouts or something maybe they have a place where you can like walk up in like your window and, and have the handouts. bags already prepared right like, um I know that I, we just moved down here but i would love to do 
like volunteering and doing something and giving back some sort because I feel like God has blessed me a lot during this year. He yeah. blessed me to move. He blessed me to have to, to continue having a job. Because a lot of people don't have no job because of COVID. Mm-hmm. A, lot, a lot of people is not the way how their life was changed tremendously. And for you to for for for, for us to be here, have a job, we need to be thankful in that. That's number one. Yeah. Is to have life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's one thing that I really want. Like you know, if you're out there and you want to do something, go out and feed the poor. Go out or you know, just like volunteer and make a difference in somebody else's life. Right. Because I know for me that God has made a difference in my life, and mm-hmm. that's the reason why I pray over my food and I pray for my family and I pray for the blood of Jesus for everybody. Because you don't know where you're gonna be when you walk out that door. That's it's true. a blessing to come back home in your door. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. It, they got me. It, some people just have those blinders on. They have absolutely no idea, like zombies. You know, I mean, I think this year is probably the one year that people are finally realizing it and all they have. But man, people are still acting mad disrespectful anyway. They still haven't learned the lesson, you know, and hurting family members right. and friends of what their actions are doing, you know? And so. Right. Right. Yeah, you know, and, and yeah, you know, not only hurting friends like that, but you know, you would think this year a lot of people would learn, you know, you know, don't lie, don't gossip, you know, don't don't do not be mean things like that, you know, especially anyone who's watching are out petty? there. <laughs> are you being petty right now? Don't use are you using my channel to be petty? But you know what, just a double back on that. You're absolutely right. Right. People need to take people need to take some self accountability and to look at yeah. their lives and no. Yeah, don't be a bully. Lie. Yeah, don't be a bully. Yeah, don't lie. That might not be a good idea. It comes back threefold. Just remember that. Um, uh, so, especially this year, you know. We, you know what? I would say. I'm, I'm going to say. I got to say something. And and speaking because <laughs> it revolves to Thanksgiving. Because guess what? This year, it's been tough for right. a lot of people. And you would of think course. that having a job, having a roof over your head, and how slow things might be at your job due to what's happening, you might want to act a little bit nicer. It might be a little bit more clear. Because when it comes to chaos that happens, when I know it's like busy and it's crazy, and if you work at a job where you know you deal with a lot of people, you think you would learn how to talk to people openly and open up a discussion clearly and not manipulate and lie to better yourself. And the year's not even over. So I'll just end it like that. I'll just say, you know, actions are stronger than words, too. Just so remember that. I already told you what it is. They don't know how to kill, to keep their mouth shut mm-hmm. and to mind their own business. That's all, it, even, even things going on in the government, the government too, doing all this. You know, people, people with this this election, the way people are behaving online. This this is the year of people just doing too much of this and not like thinking the oh, brain we first. Know, we already know. We already. I I already know. You ain't talking about the government, I say. <laughs> you you are so shot and shaming. Oh, okay. you a shaming bitch. <laughs> I'm here for it. I you know I'm here for it. Okay, I was like. Mm. <laughs> Let me see what this see. Yeah, I know. Like, hmm. yeah, I know. It's it's sad. Like some people, you really think are your might even be your friends speaking to other people and opening up their mouth, right? You know. Damn, my That's own business. Life. Well, you know, That's you just life. gotta. My whole thing is uh, even so. I'm That's not gonna right. say anything to them because their actions, whoever they want to do, is talk to somebody else. I'll still wish good for somebody because I know mm-hmm. that's it. I'm hoping that some right. sometime around they're gonna realize and like, oh shit, that's an asshole, you know, or I, I was, you know, I I did it for my own selfish reasons to get ahead, you know, to hurt you, somebody. Michael, I've been telling you, they never, they not gonna realize. Oh no, this is the year to wake I'm up. Glad. That's what it is. That's that's what I'm telling you. This, this is, is not the year to wake up. Because this is the year. Um, to, to, to look deep, but people don't want to look it's deep. It's an angel number like anyway, number right? Yeah. Isn't it an angel number yeah. anyway? Yeah, it's angel numbers of 2020. You know, when you get like numbers oh. like that, 11, 11, 2020, you know, 
you need to look at a clock. You know, you, I, I kind of sometimes believe in that. You know, you look at the clock, it says thought, 11, 11 on it. I thought the triple number is like triple two, triple three, triple that four. That could be that too, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Normally, it's like a double digit number or, you know, triple number. Mm-hmm. You know, but anyway. Yes, moving right along. Positive. So now my pain is about. The year's not over yet. From preaching to being shady, about to preach again because I'm not even gonna keep that energy in here. Dash we. Well, go ahead. So, um, do you have any like amazing Thanksgiving memories uh, or things you have? I don't know. I feel like most of my Thanksgivings that I like lately that I had, I had to work. You know, we work. We used to work with TSA together. Mm-hmm. So if, if your day off wasn't on that holiday, you both likely got to go to work on that holiday. Oh, work. that's right. I'm going to have off Thanksgiving. That's great. Um, I'll get to see my family for once after like seven few years. That's, you know? cool. that's nice. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Even it might be a small little gathering, but you know what? I'm going to be very blessed to see them. <laughs> That's sarcasm in your voice? No, that's not sarcasm. I'm actually happy to see my family. I'm just, you know, there's people out there who just kind of want to take that away. But that's Michael, fine. You, Michael, don't make me cut you on no damn channel, okay? Do you want them to see how I give it up to uh, you? I, w- I, I wish you could go to Thanksgiving at my parents' house and enjoy your with your family, too, because I'll tell you, I think that's the best part. You know, when you get some really good food. I wonder who I wonder who makes better for your family or my family. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I wish that I could go right up to right up to the Bastinelli's, okay? Go mm. right upstairs because you know when the, so, so they don't know the inside of the house. But on the inside of the house they have like where you could overlook the living room, big oh, small right. yeah. living room. Yeah. And you just look down. You and you can listen and to and like, see if they're talking, you know, about things, you know. They, <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, that doesn't happen. To, that doesn't happen in my house. But no, no, actually, just to, I'm going to bring up something interesting um, with your family um, or my family. Mm-hmm. Did you ever have an experience where um, like your father's family, or your mother's family are two different families and you would have Thanksgiving on the same day? Did you ever do that? Um, like you go to one house and then another house on the same day? I did kind of do a a, a hop. Mm-hmm. Or what we would do is that, you know, my father's family, yes, mm-hmm. they were around, but they always had their stuff, but I was with my mom. So I would mm-hmm. just go to her family. Her family's house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my mom's family house is, is, is the majority of my of my um, my memories. But mm-hmm. I do remember one year we did do a Thanksgiving um with my with my father's family and my aunts and I met and I met my cousins from like the Bronx and stuff like that. Like I did that that only happened once. Okay. I was probably like, I can do my high school. Mm-hmm. My family it was like uh we would just all in the two parts of New Jersey, we would go to my grandparents' house mm-hmm. and um I think last because my, my mother's family would have it like twelve PM sometimes. It'd be like really early. And we would just right. like hang out with the family there and then leave and then go straight to the Bastinelli's. Right. <clears throat> yeah, but there's to- right. totally different types of, uh, like, I mean, you would have the turkey there and stuff, but the food was a little slightly different. And uh, the environment, right. my mom was very timid and quiet. Everyone just like socializing very quietly, enjoying the good food too. And everyone just like, you know, with, like my, G- my Aunt and Jeannie then, and, you know, you met Jeannie, right? And I think. Then, yeah. and then, and then into little family is what rambunctious. They're very loud, um, but I love them. <laughs> um, it, like it's Italian. I mean, like I mean, it's Italian. Dad, your Spanish. dad is not loud. Your dad is very like like. My, quiet. Maybe there's a reason why my father's quiet. <laughs> no, no, I think when you but you get all I'm, I'm sorry, like sixteen cousins all in a house bashed like mashed together. You know, aunts and uncles, a big long saying, table, you know. I'm just saying that the man that I met was a very quiet man, mm-hmm. calm, subdued, just chill. I, 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 didn't, I didn't get no loudness from that man at all. I don't know what Riley was. You don't hear why? Like, Riley? 
Riley's gonna have his first Thanksgiving with you too, right? No. Second I have one? him for two years now. Yeah, two years. So it's your second Thanksgiving. I have him two years now. He's well, solidified. Florida, it'd be first in Florida. Okay. Yeah, but we're going to my cousin's house and he can't go, so he'll be, he'll be home. I'm so sorry. I wish I was there to take care of Riley and get him some turkey. Oh, please. He's good. He is good. Calm down. He's a dog. So you're going, so you're going, um, you said you were in Georgia, right? I believe. For your cousin. No, I'm going to my cousin's house in Florida. In Florida, I okay, cool. Him. Right. So, okay, that sounds cool. That's going to be, what are you bringing? Desserts. We're going to try the dessert. What are you making? Yeah. Are you buying or making it? I am going to buy. What the hell? Baby boy, do you see me, do you, do you see me being a baker? Why not? You no, know what? hold on, hold on. For the right man, I could be. <laughs> For the hey. right man. Depending on what he did to me, mm-hmm. to maybe be a lot of things. Well, I, I think that you maybe you should get into baking. You might make some really good cakes oh, and stuff. Why not? I don't think baking's for me because you know what? Like, I don't think that I could be like so precise in your measurements when you have to like do all that. Like, I'm not. No, I like a, I get a little bit of chaos. So the, like, enough I'm, is like brownies are enough for you. You're like, I'll make some brownies, <laughs> and that's it. You the only brownies. I'll buy. I, I will buy the brownie pack in the the, the um supermarket. Right. And a big dough. Right. Simple. That's it. Or like I'm cookie dough. You put like the cookie dough things out. Like you'll cut them and then you're like you won't make your own cookie dough or your brownie mix. No. Okay. It's not for me, but you know it. It's just not for me. Everybody has their thing. That's not my thing. I'm just. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. I'm, well, well, what are your um, what's it called? Uh, you went over your favorite dishes, but did, did you ever have a dish you ever ate at Thanksgiving? You're like, oh my god, this is like the best ever. I don't From think a family so. member. No. Listen, I had been cooking all year round. <laughs> That's true. I had been cooking all year round, and that's all that's like, ooh. Like, that one thing on Thanksgiving is you're, you know you're probably gonna get good food anyway. You ever had a bad dish though? I don't. I know, Michael. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna yes, I did have one bad dish, and I'm gonna say, it. rest her soul. I love her, but she, she's gone. Rest in peace, Grandma. Um, it was Grandma Bastinelli, and. <laughs> She made this dish that I will never forget. That I think everyone in the family knew it, and no one—I don't think anyone wanted to say anything to her. It was some. <laughs> it was some lemon chicken because, like, my grandma's meatballs, pasta, like all those good like Italian dishes. And you're like, okay, these are good, but she made this like lemon chicken thing once, and it just tasted like pure lemon. Like the chicken was gone, like it was so. It's like imagine if you took like you squeeze the lemon juice inside the chicken meat. Like you imagine you took a lemon and you put lemon juice and you let the chicken like rest in lemon juice for hours and then you just. That's how she did. She soaked it in lemon. She probably soaked the lemon juice, but it just it's so it was so bad to me because I ate it. I'm just like. (laughs) I look over at my mom. My mom's like. (laughs) <laughs> what is <this? laughs> my dad no. everyone everyone was like looking at each other like what did she do to the chicken and we look at us like, thank, god, thank god there's chicken okay, so what you did okay 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 grandma back to nelly i, I got you girl black girl got you so I'm like, yeah, what she, she did she probably cleaned up her chicken right you got to clean chicken with lemon and thing wash it off wash it off wash it off wash it off put a little vinegar you know, mm. you know, you got a clean chicken when you cook it, or you clean up your, your thing. She was, and so, so that she let it soak in lemon, right? Mm. Probably let it soak in lemon. She seasoned it a little bit, blah, 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 and she put it to bake. And she probably cut lemon and put lemon on that damn chicken and baked it. Yeah, I think there were like lemon pieces on top of it, so it made it even more lemon. Let me let it marinate. So you think you you think you would eat that? You would eat the lemon chicken. I seen some out there. It. You would try it. I, I would try it. I would try it. 
but I would um I would have rather her not bake but fry it and then mm-hmm. drizz and then squeeze the lemon juice on top of it. Mm-hmm. If I if, if, right. Because you could always fry it, pull a like, pull a um, you know, bread from from that, and then yeah. squeeze the lemon to give it a little, you know. That's what I would have done, but you know, well, I, I, so, so. my my family is not the type that puts like raisins in potato salad. So thank God for that. Like, um, oh, no way. I could attest to that. They don't yeah. have no raisins. We don't. We don't. We don't do. We don't do crazy shit like that to our our food. They, they, they do not. Yeah. Patty don't do. Patty don't. <laughs> Patty know how to cook. Okay? My mom Patty doesn't know how to cook. <laughs> Daddy, a no, lot of my, I think a lot of my family members actually do like they're actually very careful. And if they don't, if they don't, if they don't, they will get a caterer at least. Like so, it's it's they won't take that risk other than that time with grandmother. Me, but cater you know. for me, cater for me. <laughs> Who do they cater? Most the market or, or or is it gonna be like the fanciest? What like Costco? Like, I don't know. <laughs> you never. It's okay. It's okay because you know what. Costco got good Costco's cakes. good too. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They got good cakes and and just the hot dogs we popping at Costco. The oh. hot dogs. You we know, popping at Costco. speaking of that, you know they got I think they got rid of the chicken bake at Costco. You ever had that before? Chicken bake? It's called a chicken bake. It's like a ranch chicken and something else in it. There's this big old mm-hmm. chicken thing. They got rid of it. I think it's one of the things they discontinued. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was so good, but that's gone. And I use it IKEA. I know they they had their kitchens been closed almost like all year since COVID. So I need them. I need them meatballs. Even I know. I mean, I'm assuming they'll not. sell them and just make it at home. But like, you know, I'd be like, you know what? I need that extra serving of those meatballs, please. I see the lady going like, really? You want I want meatballs? I am giving them meat. You see how fat I am? Yes, I want I'm more meatballs, them. please. <laughs> You're not fat, baby. You're just happy. You're my little happy Santa. Yay! Oh, oh, I'm yeah. so so. Yeah, I'm gonna watch. I'm like one of those like mall Santas, but unfortunately, I don't think malls are gonna be <laughs> existing by that time. <laughs> Probably not. Probably there's all these people. But... There's all these guys who enjoy being like mall Santas, and now they're like out of the job this year. Like, oh my god, honey, what am I supposed to do? I can't make any money this year. I'm not a mall Santa. Yeah, let the little kids sit on my lap and you tell Santa, you know what? I'm trying to find a man that can sit on his lap and tell him what I want. <laughs> Got a lovely vision there. <laughs> you know they have a Santa a Santa convention that a bunch of guys mm-hmm. But yeah. they don't they have like Santa Claus too. They have Santa Claus. Yeah, it's like they, a bunch of men show up that look like Santa Claus. They have like a competition, like who? That's, that's a bit scary for me. I, I don't know if I want to be in a. We place should go to me. that. Oh my God, you and I should go, like no, Mister Mister. Not, Mr. Not, you want you want to be Mrs. Claus? You want to be Mrs. Claus and be Mister Claus? We can be like the young versions. <laughs> Michael, who would ever think you're a couple? A lot of people do. I I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, uh, okay. uh, uh, why are you drinking the energy drink? It is uh, Coca Cola. I need enough energy so, for you for this conversation. Because <laughs> I'm about to wear that ass out. Turn around. Let me spank it. Random. <laughs> We're talking about Santa's lemon chicken now spanking. Uh, ooh, ooh. Michael, let me put let, let me put my let me put my base in your turkey. No. <laughs> I pray that your mama does not watch this video. I hope she does watch this video. It's hilarious. My mother has humor. Oh so, geez, and she goes like, Where's Robert Karima? Lord, I'm I, I sorry. Tried, I watched Borat too with my mom. It was like so awkward, you know. It's, but I, my parents are the type that like they put me through like watching like Austin Powers with them and a few other films when I was very young. So it's like right. you're sitting there awkwardly or like scary movie, you know. Mm-hmm. 
like the scene in the stall. Like you like look over, it's like I do not want to like make eye contact with my parents while the scene is playing out. Or like you know the scene's coming and you're like, okay, now it's time to like leave the room because you know like that one joke is gonna come right. up. And then come back. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh so don't, I highly yeah. recommend you should watch Borat 2 with your mother. Just, just have that wonderful experience. I, I want to see. I don't think that's her type of movie. Cause my mom only likes action. Like if there's anything like killing there's some action. And there's action and in the movie. And, there's some you know, action. She wants to see, like crouching tiger, hidden dragon with oh. her head. John Wick. She likes stuff like that. She likes. I don't know. If Borat Two is gonna be that for her, uh, okay. No, like, that's cool. To watch a movie is always just like ugh, hard to pick one with her because she just wants what she wants. So, <laughs> should she prefer the male action stars? No, I don't. I don't think it's just like a male action. She just likes action. Mm-hmm. She just likes action. It's not about if it's a male or anything about. Oh, now that. I know. That's interesting. Yes, now you know, Papi. Now you know, Mira. Como esta? <laughs> well, anyway, I guess we'll end it here. You know, you know keep it a little lower. My eyes get a little tired. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just wish everybody a nice, happy Thanksgiving. Yes. So I'm. Um, are you going to, okay? Do you do your well wishes that I would? Well, what, wait, well, hold on. We did not say what we're thankful for. So you go first. What are you thankful for? I am thankful that I have really good friends and family and people who really care about me. I am thankful for having a roof over my head. I'm thankful for, you know, having to be together with somebody for over 10 years. Um, <laughs> Right. And you know what? I'm yeah. I'm I'm thankful for still, you know, having d- decent good health, and you know, my family is still good, and we've been very lucky, and you know, staying safe this year and moving forward. So, mm-hmm. and I'm thankful for having this wonderful conversation with Karima. So, and we can talk on the internet. Isn't that amazing? Right. Everything is so virtual and so internet base is like literally yeah. 20 years ago it was MSN Messenger sitting there and dial up and now it's just like I can record this conversation and put a pretend background including a family who's praying behind me that's not my family but go on right that was weird it was okay. that, that, that part I was like uh, I can't think straight <laughs> I just I couldn't but yes yes what are you I guess it's my for? time to to say what I'm thankful for, and I will try to say what I'm thankful for and not get emotional or sad. So we're just gonna let me group myself together. Um, I'm thankful because this year, as you know, people way know on my channel, has been a difficult one for me thus mm-hmm. far. I have been through so much in life, but I really feel like this year has been the year of me coming into my own womanhood coming mm-hmm. into my maturity as a person and seeing things differently in life. Mm-hmm. I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful for um, my faith in God. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for the friends that really have been there for me or tried to be there for me because I know that I'm very difficult to deal with on a whole. And especially when I have things that's really not going right or I feel some type of way, I'm even more difficult to deal with. So I get it. I'm mm-hmm. thankful that the people who wants to be around me will be around me. Mm-hmm. And the people who are in my life and make a steady, steady appearance, I'm mm-hmm. thankful for. I'm also thankful for my, you know, my dog. I'm thankful for all the blessings mm-hmm. that God has given me. I'm thankful for my, my, my subscribers. I'm thankful for each and, each and every one of you here my future subscribers i'm thankful that y'all come to see this weird quirky girl and her lifestyle and just be like wow she's dope and i'm thankful for for any positivity or any impact that i may have in your life with by you watching what i'm going through in my life i'm also thankful i'm going to end this with with this um point i am thankful for my grandmother 
I'm thankful for the woman that she was that made my mom and my other, my aunts and my uncles, and I'm thankful that from we get to be from her lineage and for what yeah. she's done in life, that I get to be the person that I am. And I say that every day that my grandmother has been a driving force, even more so now that she's gone mm-hmm. than before that she was here. Because everything that I do, moving thus forward, I want to do because I want to make her proud. Right. And I know that I want her to be happy in heaven and to know that she didn't leave me to be down. Mm-hmm. She left me to be up. And it's hard because you go through a lot. Mm-hmm. And you go through every day, but you don't understand that one day that they might not be here. And you might have to stand. Yeah. And you want somebody to stand there with you. And the fact that I'm crying now is very like, you know, because I'm not a crier. Mm-hmm. I am. But I'm not a crier publicly, so yeah. watch this video. <laughs> Get in here. Like, y'all are in here. We are, like, mm-hmm. we family now. Right. But, you know, I didn't want to cry. Right. But I want people to know that you could go through adversity and you could go and be down and you could see where you want to be. And you take every moment and you take everything that you go through and you take it for yourself. Mm-hmm. And to to stop and 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 when you achieve your goal, be like, damn, I really achieve a goal. That's what's up, and keep it moving, and don't let nobody out there that, that might not they might not see your vision, they might not know what you go through, but they they ever sure ain't gonna stop what you got coming for you. Yeah, and that's the message that I want to give. Be happy on Thanksgiving if you can. If 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 you don't have much, celebrate with whatever you have. Be mm-hmm. thankful for whatever you have because I'm thankful for whatever I got. My little bit of morsel, my little, my little bit of my humble and bold, what I pay for, because Lord knows the, I paid right now or you are no longer spoiled. I was a little spoiled child. I'm not spoiled no more. I'm a woman now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that, that's what I'm thankful for. I know. It was, it, I did. I, I, went, I went over. No, you didn't go over that. That you you spoke the truth there, you know. It's um, that's the truth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want I, I, I want it to be to be one, like you know, to to be happy within yourself. Find you made me tear up too. Happy. I mean, it, it's I it's you're, you know, your your anyone is like your grandmothers and people who this is where you are now. You know, it's like what they did, their actions that they did, your grandparents, family brought you to where you are you know some of them may went through a lot of sacrifices over you, you know each generation you know and like i know about my family history is like that and i'm pretty sure but you know about yours like your your grandmother maybe had yeah. some hardships and build up she had a house and you know her family to take care of everyone and you all loved her you know and she made that right. impact and that lineage so that you're who you are and bold how you are and you've spoken like that that comes from your your her and your mother and now you right. so you know and that's important some people forget that they completely forget right. you know who raised them and brought them up so that's true you know we all should yeah. be grateful for that the building blocks <laughs> PG. Uh, PG. I might have a dream just, just. I want to have, have a nice, wine. Have a nice sip of wine tonight for her. <laughs> you especially for Thank her on you. Thanksgiving, okay? You know. Oh, listen, on Thanksgiving, I might be a wreck. I might be crying. Yeah. I can only cry in the in in the morning hours. Like I, I can't cry in the evening hours because I'm going <laughs> because I'm going to the dinner. So I'm like, mm-hmm. oh. <laughs> you know, that would be most likely. You know, just you know. I mean, everyone should just know, care about your loved ones, you know, like you, you don't really yeah, what's going family. on right now. I'll tell you, you got, if you have family, you got family that's alone right now, you need to start reaching out to them, especially your family that might be elderly, who is alone, maybe in nursing right. homes or, yeah. or in homes by themselves. Don't just like ignore them. Just reach out to right. them. If you can't see them because of what's happening, just give them a phone call. You know, if you're going to be posting on Facebook every day about what you ate and what your favorite music is, just reach out to these people. It's, it's, you got to start doing that, especially right now. 
Um, but anyway. Definitely tell that you love them while you can. Yeah, yeah. Come the day. Because you will be talking to their body, but you you thinking that they're not hearing you. Mm-hmm. My grandma's going to oh, get upset with me, bad, bad mouthing about her chicken, so. <laughs> yeah, you, but you, but you, but you better pray to, you better pray to grandma, bad bastard, daddy, today. Ah, she'll love me. I, she, so she'd rather have me be honest with her, because I'll, I'll I tell so you, she, I need, chicken. I need that meatball recipe that she made. I was hopefully one day we'll get that, you know. But how's she going to give it to you, baby? How's she going to give it to you? She has daughters who probably know how to make it, so I got to try to get that out of them. <laughs> Michael, be blessed, okay? You too. Everyone and be blessed stay, out there. Thank you. Stay out of trouble, okay? Stay out of trouble. I'll stay out of trouble. I hope everyone's blessed out there. Remember to tell the truth oh. and be a good person. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, tell the truth, not lie for your own benefit. Michael, stop using my pain to be always so shady. Oh my God! Oh, you better end it on a good note. Stop. All right, y'all. Love in the air. Have a good Thanksgiving. Enjoy your Have family and your friends. Please share your your Thanksgiving plans. Um, comment, like, yes. Share, put subscribe. down your put down your memories, your favorite dishes, and you know. Right, right, right. right.